change that. And Jesus could not, he, Jesus did not change that because it's not meant. All right? It is not meant for discussion. Are you understanding me? It's not something that you can just come and say, okay, God, all right, I heard you, but let's discuss it. No, it's not meant. It's, it's past discussion. Go with me to Exodus chapter 20. Exodus chapter 20. Go with me there. Now we are reading from verse 1. I want you, we are reading from verse 1 to 3. I want you to pay attention to this carefully. And God speak all these things, all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt and out of the house of bondage. Look at verse 3. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. When you change God, Romans chapter 6 verse 16 says that you change who you serve. When you change who you serve, <coughs> you have already gone against God. That is the initial sin. What follows is not that sin. The main sin is not because you kill somebody. Because you kill somebody is the fruit of your initial decision. Your initial journey. The sin of Cain is when Cain changed God. And he placed himself there. He placed his feelings. He placed Things that he covets there. And he made it about himself instead of God. Genesis chapter 4, verse 4. And Abel, he also brought of the firstlings of the flock, you know, the fat thereof. The Lord had respected Abel. And to his offering. But unto Cain. And to his offering. He had no respect. And Cain was very rough. And his countenance fell. His countenance fell. He was very rough. Cain. Did not make this sacrifice about God. He made it about himself. He changed God. And he put himself there. God rejected the offering. Because God is not a dog who needs a bone. He needs your heart. Someone said obedience is better than sacrifice. God does not need any man's sacrifice or offering. Because there is nothing that we owe that he has not given to us. Cain changed God. He made the first sin against God. And placed himself there. Therefore when God refused because the sacrifice was not for God. It was not about God. It was for Cain's ego. It was the Cain's feeling. It was the Cain's sin. It was not for God. Therefore God couldn't accept a sacrifice that does not belong to him. The sacrifice of Cain was for Cain. It was not for God. God just refused the sacrifice because he couldn't take a sacrifice that does not belong to him. Cain made it about himself. 
Instead of knowing that I am sacrificing to the Lord. If if I live, it is it, it's for the Lord. If I die, it's for the Lord. No, Cain decided that if God does not take what I have given him, then I am vest. Puppy, puppy, hello. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come here, puppy. Take the take the bow. Take the bow. Roll. Roll left. Roll right. Say, get up. All right, go. Good boy. Good boy. I'll bring you bow next year. God is not a puppy. It was Cain. He removed the heart that he was told. The heart, the information that he was given. The reason why Cain offering was respected and respected by God until the process of time that it came to pass that God said, I will not respect your offering again. Do you think God changed? No. Cain changed. Because God will not receive that offering yesterday and refuse it today unless you got blemishes around you. The sin of Cain was already around Cain before he killed his brother. It was just the fruit because the Bible says it's the eye that bringeth last and when the last grow it bears fruit and when it bears fruit it bears the fruit of death killing his brother was just the fruit of the flesh the last fullness, the covetousness that was in Cain's heart. Making the sacrifice of God about himself instead of God. So when God refused the sacrifice, instead of saying, God, I brought this thing for you. If today you have refused it, glory be to your holy name because you know better than us. I'm just a mortar. I'm just a clay of your hand, Lord. To your glory, if I live. To your glory, if I die. All power and glory belongs to you, King of Kings. That should have been the prayer of Cain. But the Bible says he was rough. He was angry. He was vexed. Why? Because he made it now why because he removed God before that sacrifice was made it was not about God it was about Cain ego it was about Cain himself God was not part of the equation because he has lost the reason of his service he has lost the reason of he being called by God to have the opportunity and the privilege to offer a sacrifice before the Lord. So he started just like every other person. Nice, with obedience, with humility. And as, as the cross begin to grow, and as money begin to come, and as everything begin to go the way that he wants, he start to see not God as the provider, but he begin to see himself that he is a good farmer. Why? Because I can weed, I can crop, I can do all these things. And he begin to forget about the hand that fed. process of time he became too familiar with the ways of God thinking that he could control his own affairs 
And instead of making it about the will of God, as he has been told from the very day that he was born, because he was a gift from God. The mother says, I will have received a man from God. He was a gift from God. That means from the very day that he came, he will have the knowledge of God in himself. But yet, at some point, he threw God away and started going with his own ego. His sin was not killing his brother. His sin was rejecting God. And making it about himself. So when God refused his sacrifice, he was angry. Verse 6. And the Lord said unto Cain, Why art thou rough? And why is that continent falling? I mean, if you are bringing me sacrifice and I say, Okay, Cain, take it away. Why are you angry? Why? Unless you have made it about yourself. Hey, hey, you are bringing me a gift. I say, okay, take it away. I don't need it today. Why are you angry? Verse 7. Now God is asking him a question. If thou doest well, shall thou not be accepted? And if thou doest not well, sin lie it at the door. Hey, you get it. The sin of Cain was with Cain. It was like you, you are in your house and your dog is just lying at your door. The dog is with you. He walks with you. He comes home with you. When you eat, he's just around the table, circling the table. Sin was lying at his door. Going with him, coming with him, Cain had already sinned. He had already sinned because he had that tag of sinfulness with him. From the very day he made the sacrifice, before he made the sacrifice, to this time, the reason why his sacrifice was rejected is that the sacrifice had nothing to do with God. He had already sinned. He had already committed the first abominable thing of changing God and replacing God with something else. It was just a matter of time that the desire of him bear a fruit. And the fruit was to kill his brother. That was the demonstration for every eye to see the deeds of Cain. But God had already seen the deeds of Cain and his sinful ways because he had already rejected the king of kings, the maker of the universe, the creator of all things. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, I do not know what I... What I'm telling you, all the teachings here is making sense to you. But I want you to look right down into yourself as a Christian. Whether you know God or you don't know God, I want you to begin to look right down into yourself. And I want to ask you a simple question. Who is sitting upon the throne in your heart? Is it yourself, your own ego, your ways, your plans? Your educational background, your family, your connection, your money. Who is sitting on that heart of yours? Because when you go to church, when you go to pray, when you go to do all these things, if that heart on that throne, if it's not God, if it's not Jesus sitting on it, you and your prayers and your sacrifice does not even hit the ceiling. God said he desires mercy, not sacrifice. And for that we will bless your name. He desires mercy. He desires obedience. Are worthy to be praised. It's up to you. I mean, I'm just gonna pray today. Maybe some of you are having
things that they need to pray about. You say, God, but but uh, uh, I need your healing. I need your power. I need your grace. I need your presence in me. Can you just allow Jesus today to sit on that throne of yours? To remove the, the sin of Cain from the equation. He said, Lord, I, I have been doing all these things myself. I've been caring about all myself. And it's all about me and me and me and me and things that I want. That, that even though I come and I pray and I give, but I have forgotten about you. I show people my love, but it has been about me, my ego, trying to prove to people that I am a good person. I want them to accept me, but it has never been about you, Lord. Come on, pray with me, Father, in the name of Jesus. King of kings, the one who made heaven and earth just for fun. One who made man just with a hand and the clay. Lord, we give you all the praise and we thank you. That we have come before you. And you have spoken to us. Your word has come to us. You have revealed yourself unto us. And you have humbled our heart. Just for this time. 